Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, Chris Farley and David Spade, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. What do all these names have in common? They were a duo, or a double act. As a comedy bit, the double act is an old one, but we continue to get new double acts to this day. Key and Peel, Seth Rogen and James Franco, Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. There's so many great double acts, but what if I told you there was a double act that you either never heard about or completely forgot about? I'm referring to Jim Carrey and Kelly Caulfield, the forgotten double act. In 1990, Keenan Ivory put out a sketch comedy show in Living Color. A hilarious but kind of raunchy sketch comedy show that turned a cast of unknowns into comedy icons. One of these future icons, Jim Carrey, became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. But on his time in In Living Color, he wasn't well known. At all. But few people realize he was teamed up with Kelly Caulfield as a double act. Yep, you heard that right. Jim Carrey got his start in a double act with somebody you've probably never heard of. So I want to talk about this forgotten comedy duo as it deserves to be talked about. When In Living Color hit TV airwaves in 1990, it was an immediate hit. Many cast members were hilarious, but none were as funny as Jim Carrey and Kelly Caulfield, who were the comedy team of the show. They were like bread and butter. As soon as I had some tester's choice. Did I hear someone say, tester's choice? <laughs> Jim's crazy antics and reactions combined with Kelly's mocking nature and sometimes cruel characters made for some great comedy. They just bounced off each other really freaking well. This is ever so prevalent in the mini-series in the show, Edna and Parnell, two elementary school students getting into all sorts of situations. Jim's physical comedy mixed with Kelly's mocking behavior. Think of it as a more extreme Chris Farley and David Spade. These two comedy stars eventually split up, leaving this classic underappreciated comedy duo forgotten. 